what's up you checking out the frequent flyer and i'm out here with the zing 110 looks like it's a king kong 110 gt clone but it does have these different motors these are actually baby hawk motors these are not king kong motors they're a little different than the king kong motors that look similar in form they're identical to the baby hawk props well to the baby hawk motors and the baby hawk props these are definitely the king kong baby hawk props but these motors they're identical to the baby hawk the original baby hawk motors and they even have the spacing on the uh, motors the prop mounts on these motors are exactly the same as the baby hawks and that's why they're able to fit the outer holes of these props here but let's get this thing in the air and see how it flies and all i have dsm x running on here there's a little trick that you have to do to get dsmx running on these fly color um stacks here and so i did that little mod i think i showed that in the previous video so this is 3s power let's do a punch out so decent punch out let's look at it again this is 3s so i imagine with some different props it'll probably be a better punch out on it feels like a smooth flyer so let's bring it in close have a look at it I did adjust the rates the rates seemed like they were a little low so I made them higher let's do some FPV getting a little bit of noise in the FPV feed here for the most part it's flying smooth though Looks like it needs to be um, adjusted. The pids need to be tuned a little. So it seems like a smooth flyer though. So one thing I was thinking about though, we're not gonna be able to get any any of those uh, King Kong props that are on the the 110 GT they're not going to fit because of the spacing of the prop mounts well the prop mounting holes on the motors I can although test the the new Baby Hawk props from Emacs So that's an option. I might run it on those and see how it flies. Let's do some FPV. So definitely not bad at all. This one does has a bu this one does have a buzzer. So the King that's one up on the King Kong 110 GT. And it's cruising nicely.
really quiet. Definitely not lacking in power or anything like that. Not as much punch as the King Kong 110 GT, but I imagine that's probably because of the smaller props here, the shorter prop size. Bring it in, have a look at it. Let's try punch out near the end of the battery here. So pretty nice. And this is a nice battery. This is my first time flying out here for you guys with the 550 milliamp hour GMB 3S. And so it's a really nice battery. Might be a little heavy, but definitely not lacking in power. This battery came from Amazon seller um, Crazy Pony Power. They've been bringing a lot of really nice batteries to Amazon. So the Zing 110, a nice flight. One more punch out with this battery. This battery is nice. No sounds from the buzzer or anything. And it's pretty cold out here too. <laughs> Let's check the buzzer and make sure the buzzer is working. Oh, this thing doesn't have a buzzer on it. <laughs> There's a buzzer spot in there, but I didn't add a buzzer and it doesn't come with a buzzer. So this comes with OSD. So that's the one up there that has over the 110 GT. And you can add a buzzer. Can't add a buzzer to the 110 GT. So let's bring this thing in. I have no idea where the battery is right now. So that's a quick flight of the new Zing 110. And testing out this 550 milliamp hour 3S battery from GMB. From Crazy Pony Power. Thanks for watching.